Yeah, what's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome to Saturday Night Eskimo. Fo, you are here, uh, or you are there, I guess. You are wherever you are. Um, I'm your host, Des Lorene. I'm here in the uh, Palacious Destro Studios. Uh, Destro fucking show here, uh, fucking apparel. As you can tell, we're going to be swearing tonight. We're going to be having drinks tonight. Uh, so let's get started right now. Why not, right? Cheers, everybody. Oh, red cups, red cups up in the air. Okay, cool. So for those of you just tuning in now for the first time, and maybe you don't know exactly what's going to happen here tonight, um, just a bit of a, of a rundown of the usual thing is uh, we don't really have a rundown here. I've got a couple things I want to say, you know, obviously, uh, welcome everybody to the show, but I think right away we should get the big things uh, dealt with, right? Let's talk about the big stuff. So if everybody wants to pull out their uh, their yellow their yellow cards, we're going to get the merchandise bingo uh, on the go right away here. So we have a very much paid for hot air popper. So that will be going away on your yellow cards. So if you have your yellow cards, get those ready to go. If you don't have your yellow cards, probably like everybody else because there are no yellow cards. There is no bingo tonight. So I really do apologize for the bingo tease. I know a lot of people just uh, kind of, what? Oh, no, there's no bingo. No, it's not happening. No, there is no bingo tonight. Um, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. But what we do have, oof, we've got drinks. All right, happy Easter is blue. Yes, man. Cheers, my brother. Cheers to blue out there. Cheers to everybody else. Happy Easter uh, to everybody out there. Like I said in the description here in the chat, uh, please, everybody, happy Easter. Uh, but of course, you know, with COVID and everything we're doing right now uh, to be practicing social distancing, uh, which means, you know, like go outside when you need to, when you have to. Uh, when it's super important and uh, and don't go and uh, spend time in other people's homes uh, don't gather outside apparently now it's it's illegal so uh yeah it's just a thing you know what i mean it's just a thing it's about flattening the curve it's about getting through it all and it's about being entertained right so that's what we're here to do tonight is i've got some uh, some videos we've made over the years here uh just to chat with people about different things that we've done and to find out really what's going on what's everybody up to on a saturday night uh, i just got into the final fantasy 7 remake that was pretty fucking cool I mean, uh, I don't know. It's different than what I thought it was going to be. Oh, Mo Terry, what's up? Hey, here's a very, very not paid shout out to some really good guys in Inuvik here. Here's a shout out to the Roost. Uh, give them a call, 777-2727, and uh, make an order, man. These guys have got amazing Chinese food, amazing pizza here. One of the longest standing restaurants in Inuvik, or the longest standing restaurant in Inuvik, for sure. Uh, so check them out. It's a good time. Uh, shout out to Mo. Shout out to everybody else watching. And uh, like I said, man, happy Easter. This is the time to be with our family. So I hope everybody is... Enjoying the time with their families, um, you know, as much as they can before everybody starts going a little bit stir crazy. But I don't, uh, that's not going to happen, right? That's not going to happen. Anyways, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to share some things that have been going on here in my life. So I'm sharing some videos, some funny stuff that we made and really test out this new technology. Because uh, right now I've got kind of a really cool setup. I wish I could show you. Um, I suppose if I had a mirror, next time I'll get a mirror. And I'll do, oh man, this drink, I don't know, everybody, cheers again, red cups up. Um, this is, who? I don't know if anybody's had it yet, the Coca-Cola Energy. Uh, can I say Coca-Cola on the air? Is that, that's not going to be a bad thing. Um, yeah, Coca-Cola Energy with a little bit of rum. And uh, I didn't have enough pop to really fill it out. So what I ended up doing was I put some orange soda in it. See, I used pop and soda there just to appease my American audience. But uh this tastes like the kind of brew that you would, ugh, the kind of thing that you would sneak out, you know what I mean? Like from the parents' liquor cabinet and just pour it all into a big swampy bowl and mix and whatever and drink it with the bros. Anyways, so I wanted to talk a bit about um, stuff that's going on right now, stuff we're doing here. And uh, one of the biggest things that we got going on that I'm doing right now anyways at work is working on this, uh, this show, Northwest Terror Stories. And I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of the work uh, that we're doing there at ICS. So what I did was I reached out. Um, there's this website called Cameo. And for those of you who've seen this already, I guess you know it's coming. Um, there's this website called Cameo where you can get celebrities to give you shout outs. And, uh, you know, you pay them like what I think bigger celebrities is like more and more dollars. So anyways, um, I got a very cool... I got a very cool shout out from a very cool, cool person. Um, uh, and here we go. Without further ado, I just want to play this right now and let's get it out of the way here and let's test the, tech, the technology. And uh, here we go. So cheers, guys. <laughs> Hello, kitties. 
It's your old pal, John Kassir, the voice of the Crypt Keeper. And this is a special shout out to my good fiend, Des Laureen, who's doing a very special show up in Canada in their Western Arctic. Brrr, stay warm. It's cold there this time of year, even. <laughs> Listen, I know that you're working with ICS and they're making Northwest Terror Stories. Congratulations! I hope you get to celebrate on a big scale. Well, listen, to you, Des, and to you, ICS, many congratulations, many more screams come true. Stay warm, stay safe. Stay scary. <laughs> Wash your bony little fingers. I've been trying not to touch my face. What's left of it? <laughs> and with that, I'll leave you to it. And may all your screams. Now, honestly, if that's not the coolest thing, I don't know, man. Like I said, growing up, watching the Crypt Keeper, watching... Uh, Tales from the Crypt, you know, like renting them at video effects and uh, bringing the old VHSs home, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if anybody else uh, watching this grew up in Inuvik, but yeah, man, oh, geez, those were the tapes, those were the days. Uh, I've got some DVDs, we got Paige on them now, on some of them, you know, like, because obviously it's very mature stuff. She's not into the inappropriate kind of shit and all that kind of stuff, uh, but it's super fun stuff. And so just to have John Kassir make, just, you know, like, give him a little bit of a message, like, here's some facts, here's, you know, I'm making another show, and it'd be super cool, and then, uh, boom, so that comes out. And uh, so really cool. So check out Cameo there. That's That was a super cool thing, I thought. I had a really good time making that. Uh, I think I got Caitlin a uh, video from Bam Margera uh, last year. And so that was super cool, too. So it's like, you know, just sort of check it out, Cameo.com. Um, this is a non-paid advertisement. I just think it's a cool service. And, uh, yeah, it's something neat anyways. But so, like I'm saying, uh, it's a time of social distancing. But it's really cool because we're also getting a lot of video chatting going on. A lot of people... <laughs> Tales from the Crypt guy speaks moistly. Oh man, no, he definitely speaks moistly. You know, you can hear, you can see it, you can feel it, um, the moistness uh, in his in his his voice for sure. What's up, Clyde? What's up, Cussin? How you doing? We gotta have you on and do some uh, some acoustic jams here once we figure out the technology and I can get like a split screen going on. I definitely like to start having guests on. That'd be super super cool. Even if we pre-recorded it and just had a video of you play, just like the one I just did there, uh, that'd be super cool. Speaking of speaking of cool stuff, look at that. Hey, what what? Oh man. I'm just so blown away by this technology. It's super cool. But like I said, uh, the video chat that's going on right now, I think uh, me and my family, we, we use Facebook uh, Live, their Messenger or whatever, um, House Party, the app. Uh, Zoom, I guess, is really popular now for work and stuff. But whatever it is, you know, just stay connected with each other because that's what we want to do is, uh, especially now when we're looking at, you know, people are talking about forecasting into the summertime and beyond uh, before we can have gatherings again, depending on how, how, you know, people get adjusted to this social distancing thing. Um, you know, in that in my chair, I'm trying to make it squeak again because I swear I didn't just fart right back there, but it's not squeaking again. So, oh, there, kind of, eh, yeah, kind of, not really. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, again, just keeping flat, keeping the flat in the curve. Uh, keep it down there, and just really like you know, you're hearing stories about parties and stuff. Like, don't don't be at parties. You know what I mean? Like, I understand there's some contact has to happen. You have to go and. Uh, see somebody for something or whatever or you see somebody at the store but like don't you know hug each other and stick around and make it a big thing and get in people's way I mean just be considerate you know what I mean even if you're not um, fully bought into it which you totally should be at this point uh, please you know just be considerate of other people right so I mean without getting too preachy there you go um, so anyways we're gonna keep some videos rolling here um, again here's some of the original videos that I've made uh, this is like in 2010 when I first got my computer from my mom Big shout out to my mother. Uh, we made these ones, and uh, this is when I first started using Neverlo Studios banner. Uh, so that was super fun. Um, yeah, okay, there we go, perfect. Uh, yeah, so here we go. So this, this these ones here, uh, we made, I made shot this one in BC. Uh, it was like a spoof on a dock I made. Uh, and then the, the zoner was the first one I made, actually. So this one's, I'm super proud of these ones here. And uh, we're, keeping, we're gonna keep the kids, the hits coming. So stay wherever you are, grab your cups, this one's actually plastic. It's not really like traditional red cup, so it's a little more durable. Oh, that's nice. All right, here we go. Let's go again. Here we got with the Ultimate Fighter and we got the Zoner.
people don't understand is this is serious business. I mean, I spend at least three hours a week training, and it's tough. I mean, four weeks of the year. Oh, uh, started playing yesterday sometime, I think. I think it was yesterday. Hey, yo, man, we gotta talk, bro. I'm getting concerned for you, man. I think you're smoking too much and you're playing too many fucking games, man. Well, how do you mean? I mean, case in point, I'm not even real. I don't even exist, man. Stop playing games, huh? <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, yeehaw, there we go. So again, those are some of the early ones I made there, and those were just made off of like a cheap camera that I had um, and my MacBook. So again, thanks to my mom for the MacBook. I think I still have the original MacBook there. You can see it in the one shot there um, of the zoner. But again, you know, this is stuff that I've just started doing at home. You know, like I'm seeing online, or I saw a poster actually downtown today that there's a um, like an online uh, film festival, like a film challenge for youth. And that's super cool, man, because you can shoot so much off a cell phone now. You know, you just take your phone and you can shoot whatever you want to. Um, so again, like I said, send messages. Give me a call if you want to, man. That'd be super dope if somebody called during one of these lives. And I realize, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm playing to a handful of people right now. Uh, we'll get call, we'll get views later on. Um, so that'd be super cool. But really what I want to do, especially during this downtime, is um, spend my off time sort of flexing these muscles. And uh, I've, I've shared screenshots of my whole setup here. But I'm really keen on this whole thing, man. This whole streaming thing and, and hosting and entertaining. So, um, you know, it's just something we're trying to get going on here. I don't think we actually got surprise party going, although I should have tried for, I'll try better for next time. Uh, what we do have though, is we do, uh, speaking of, a lot of people have been bringing up, you know, it's WrestleMania season, right? It's WrestleMania season. So a lot of people are talking about WrestleMania, you know, WrestleMania past and WrestleMania memories and stuff. So what we're seeing a lot of is, Dang it. oh geez, I just saw your head pop up and you can kind of hear it differently. How's it going? Good. Awesome. You want to come chat for a bit or? Okay. All right. You want to pull up a chair? Sure. All right. Um, the chair right behind the door there. We will put away our stuff for the uh, the merchandise bingo here. Awesome. Everybody, Paige Lorene, for those of you who don't know, this is the little Eskimofo Jr. Come on, have a seat. Thank you. Cool. So you're thinking a new setup, pretty cool, right? It's like a whole new thing now. We can go from like side to side and play old videos if we wanted to and stuff. We should actually have your video up next time. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Oh, she said so. It's like a minute behind. Oh yeah, no, there's a delay. This is this is what I see the live in the chat here. Oh. Yeah. So this is this is what we're seeing now, and then this is what's coming up on deck, and then this is what's there. So it's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. It's a lot. It is. It is, but it's pretty fun. Like I was just saying uh, before, you tried to crawl, crawl in the room and sneak in. Is <laughs> I want to practice this kind of stuff because I really like doing it. Like I said, I think we could actually run our own TV shows and stuff from here. Yeah. What kind of a show would you want to make if you could make one? I'm thinking about like comedy. Mm, comedy. Cool. Like a live action kind of like skits and stuff, like telling jokes, or would you like shoot stuff like we had, like individual comedy stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Um. What are you doing these days with your isolation? How are you killing the time? Just FaceTiming friends. <laughs> nice. So you keep in contact with people? Yep. See, that's important. That's important. You're also drawing some more too, right? That's mm -hmm. super cool. And I wish I stayed with my drawing some more and I'd be better at it. Mm -hmm. Practice makes perfect. Uh, well, your cartoony styles is perfect. You think I'll have a really nice cartoon style? That's cool. Yeah, you could draw Homer better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I've been drawing The Simpsons since I was like your age, younger even. Oh, my mom could tell us stories, I tell you. Remember when like... Yeah, um, I remember mom used to say, like, because I wasn't allowed when I was, like, eight years old when Simpsons came out, I wasn't allowed to watch it at all, so they would just, like, have to watch it with me and stuff. And when I was born, I was just watching them. Yeah, exactly. You're, like, raised on Family Guy in South Park until you could understand what they were talking about, yeah. and we had to stop. That was some good times. That was some good times. Yeah. We should actually start playing some games stuff on here. Chad, hey, let's send hi, Paige. Oh, hello. 
<laughs> cool. Yeah, we got to keep better eye on the chat here. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, what else do you want to talk about? We should. Uh, we should. Oh, we should totally. Next time, what we'll do is we'll have a split screen set up so we can actually have like a video game plugged in. So while we're playing it, they can actually see us like in the small screen here and then the big big screen of the game. Oh. Yeah. Hmm? Your computer can do that? Yeah, for sure. Wow. Yes, I know. We just got to get some more parts for it. That's what I'm trying to order right now is like a little switcher box and stuff that can do that. Mm -hmm. You're lucky. You can have all that. Just in my room on my phone. Well, you can have this stuff too if you wanted it. Really? Yeah, you can use this if you wanted to. Just make your own show and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you happy about Easter? <laughs> yes. Awesome. Awesome. Um, how do you feel about no school? Uh, I kind of miss my friends, like meeting them in person at school, like one place with everybody. But bad? No, no. Yeah. I prefer stay home still. Really? Eh? Okay. <laughs> And how do you feel about the fact that, like, because you're supposed to be finishing grade six, and a lot of people are excited about, you know, finishing grade six because you graduate uh, here from the small school to the other school, to the to, to, to high school. How do you feel that you might be missing that? Uh, mm, a lot. Like, um, I don't really know. <laughs> no, I don't care. Are you excited to go to grade seven? Are you excited that you're kind of almost semi-done like grade six? It's okay, like, before uh, anybody starts jumping on me about saying, I know she's not done grade six, we're going to be doing homeschooling and stuff, she's going to finish up her studies for this year, but I mean, essentially, right? Come on. Yeah. Anyways, grade seven, right? Mm. But it's like going to be a lot because like, you're going to have to change into gym clothes for gym and then like there's classes everywhere. <laughs> Changing into your gym gear. Everybody remembers that. Everybody in the Nuvik remembers that. The because uh, I remember up to grade six, it was just like, well, it's gym time, so let's go to the gym and let's sweat around. And then as soon as they're like, no, you're in a bigger school now. This this means a difference now for everybody. We all have to change our gym gear now because of this reason. Um, so there we go. That's going to be happening now in grade seven. That's still a thing. So anything else you're excited about in senior in junior high? Um, because you go to a different school now too, right? Like it's a totally different I, building. I heard that. Um. Um, school ends at like around three forty-five, and like you get to stop for two minutes and walk around the high school, and then when the bell rings, you have to go back to class. Hmm. So he told me that. Weird. Okay. Well, anyways, mm -hmm. that might be a thing. You might have to uh, walk around and then go back to class at like what three forty-five at the end of the day. Th That's weird. Anytime, most of the time, I think. I don't okay. know. Well, I know there's breaks. Yeah, I know there's there are breaks in between. But anyways, weird. Anything else you're excited about these days? What are you playing in video games? Playing Roblox. Roblox. So what are you doing like in Roblox? Like what is that like? Tell me a bit about Roblox. Um, you can make like your own game, but it costs Roblox like money. Yeah, like its own currency and game currency. Yeah, and. But it's like a, it's like a collection of video games, right? So it's not just yeah, one game. It's like a billion. <laughs> oh, Paige, tell everyone why women are like tea bags. <laughs> into the green dot, right? Into the green dot. Um, a woman is like a tea bag. You don't know how strong they are uh, um, until you put them in hot water. So, um, I just keep hearing that on the video. That's awesome. I keep saying it. It's so true. It's so true. <laughs> Mary. Hey, what's up, Mary? We are very well. Happy Easter, Mary. Mary's one of my friends off the cruise. She's awesome. Oh. Hey, Mary, what's up? Hi, Mary. She's, yeah, she's really awesome with art, too. She likes your art, too. Thank you. Yeah. Speaking mm -hmm. of pages art, we have some of it on the wall over there. Some of the pages original. I think that was one of your like first paintings you've done. Uh. It's <laughs> well, I'll get a picture of it up here next time on the show here. We'll definitely show it up here. Um, but right away here, what I want to do is I want to put up another video really quick here. Um, we're going to be back with Paige, of course. Paige is still going to be here. We're just setting up the... Uh, oh, actually, no, no, we've got it. We have a clip already set up here. I had a thing set up before you came in, so that's pretty cool. Oh. So you, it's, it's awesome that you're making this longer here. Um, all right, everybody. So here we go. A special treat. Again, this is from WrestleMania, New Orleans. Uh, this is a clip I took on Bourbon Street. It got pretty crazy. Uh, everybody that was there knows all about it. And that's what I was talking about, WrestleMania week. And uh, so here we go. Let's take a look at this little clip. <laughs> Man, 
what is going on? I should have kept the commentary going. That would have been rad. I was just explaining to Paige how the system works here. So now this is when it's going to be live. Now you see a little bit of a delay. He's going to get thrown. And so, yeah, so essentially there was just wrestling in the streets. Everybody was just having a good time partying in the streets, except horses walk by down that street. It's called, it's Bourbon Street, right? Like in oh. the Princess and the Frog. And so <laughs> horses walk down there and there's just poop everywhere and people go bathroom in the, in the road and it's really gross. Uh. It's yeah, it's really, it's really, really gross. Uh, but there's awesome food there during the day, like when it's not like party central. So one day we'll have to go for sure. Oh, I thought that was yeah. Jake. I was just like, yeah, where's Jake? Oh, because that Cubs yeah, was in here. The dog. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Chad, powerful. Damn. Oh, brother, man. Hope everything is okay with you guys, man. Hope baby's all right. Uh, let's see some more baby pictures here. Let's definitely see some baby photos from you guys. Um, and uh, man, I don't know. What are you thinking? What else are you thinking? Hmm. 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 What do you think of Trolls? Hey, let's do a movie review right here, okay? So last night, we uh, I've, I'm not a familiar... I'm not sure if everybody else is familiar with the PlayStation on the store right now. You can, like, rent movies for $20. And so instead of a movie being out in the theater now, they just have this big home debut. So last... This week uh, was Trolls World Tour. So the Trolls, a new movie. I don't know if anybody... For a quick rundown, Trolls animated one. You know, the little trolls with the long hair and stuff. And... Oh! oh and ask him. Here he is. Hey, what's up, pups? Come here, my boy. Come on, boy. Come up. Jump. Jump. Here. Let me pick you up. Don't pee. Oh, he's going to pee. Okay, he probably peed. All right. So, here is Jake again, everybody. This is Jake Cubs. This is our dog, Jake Cubs. And uh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. I just love talking about Jake all the time. Uh, No, but we're talking about Trolls. So, Trolls animated movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake. Awesome. Uh, That song, True Colors. I mean, come on. It's just... Make me cry thinking about it. Anyway, so the new movie, the sequel, came out this week, Trolls World Tour. Uh, Paige being kind of the target demo for it. Uh, let's let her take it over. And what do you think of the movie, Trolls World Tour? Um, it was cool, especially, like, there's other type of um, music going on, like hip-hop and pop. I was a real fan of the, the heavy metal, the rock, the rock trolls. I was kind of yeah. pulling for them the whole time. Crazy Train, <coughs> who, was, who, was that? who was singing that? <coughs> Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, Ozzy. Yeah, so I mean, that's that's exactly it. Is they were playing songs like Crazy Train. They had um, what other ones were were they playing there? Um, There's just um, you know Rocky like a Hurricane and a bunch of other classics. Barracuda, uh, so many good songs that I was into, and I'm like cheering for the bad guys here. It was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> but they had hip hop, they had um, techno, they had uh, pop, they had um, what? They even had yodelers in there. They had yeah. all kinds of music country styles. Music. Yeah, country music. Yeah, country played a big part for sure. Uh, blues too and uh, it was really fun man it's just a fun movie I thought what would you give it out of five stars four four nice you really enjoyed it eh? yeah I know me too I really liked it too I laughed a lot um thinking about other movies we've really enjoyed together like um uh what is it Teen Titans go to the movies remember we saw that in the theater twice oh yeah <laughs> that was awesome <laughs> awesome okay cool so Paige gives it a 4 out of 5 and I'm thinking honestly yeah I really enjoyed it too and so on that scale I'll give it a 3.5 uh, just because I was looking for a moment like you know with the first one uh, True Colors that song it just like I actually downloaded that song onto my phone afterwards it was just like a thing I did I got really into it um, because I was I, I don't know it's just, it just it just pulls the heartstrings like maybe one of those 80s babies whatever uh, but it just it did it for me anyways it did it for me um, so this movie just lacked that for me. I was looking for that big moment because I like to cry during movies and I like to get all sappy and stuff and I like to kind of hide from them like I'm not crying. But mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> but no, I, I do. I like I like those moments and I didn't get that with uh, with Trolls World Tour. It was super fun. I enjoyed the, the H out of it here. I'm not going to swear in front of my kid even though I swear in front of her a lot and she learns all her swears from me. Right? Yep. Well-adjusted kids. Well-adjusted <laughs> kids learning swears. Um, so, so that's what we're doing here. Um... I'm just trying to think. I, I can't believe we couldn't get these movies to work here. Darn it! With that we don't have that we have here with you. Um, but what we do have here coming up here is uh, we have. Sorry, everybody. I'm just kind of looking down here at the controls. Uh, we have our classic, the Inuvik comedy uh, staple, the premiere video we ever made. I remember getting together with Brandon and Brandon uh, with the boys there, and it was so much fun. We were in this little uh, in between these two trailers here. And uh, we had this concept. Uh, let's further ado. Let's just get into it. Let's put it on here. Uh, this is Meat Bag. Hey bro, can I get one until Friday? No man, you stole me for the last one. Just give me one more though, man. I just need one more. I'm all out, man. Hey, what's up, bro? What's up? Uh, thanks, man. I don't like dealing with that guy. 
Come on, you can give me one more, right? Just give me one more. Fine, man. Oh, do you have any butter? Butter's extra. What? All right, here we go. And that's it. So that's Meatbag. That's one of our earliest ones. Um, I used to always watch uh, what my dad made on the PS3, like this one. <laughs> I used to not understand the joke, but now I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so that was it. Is like I put all of my productions on their PS3. Again, this just speaks to the video games in general. Uh, the PS3 was such a pinnacle of gaming because it acted like a mini hard drive. Like, ours is still there. Mine is still kicking in the bedroom. And it still has all of our movies that we saved from when she was a baby. Uh, all the all the kids shows, like the Doras that she used to watch. Uh, all the, the Simpsons that we put her on. Um, you know, like, everything from, like, what, 2010 on. So that's almost, yeah, it's 10 years now. Uh, even longer. That's crazy. So now to think that we have all that stuff on there just stored on that hard drive. And then the PS4 couldn't do any of that. I don't know. I'm hoping the PS5 does more. What do you think? What's your favorite, Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Yes, you see, this is what I'm. This is what's going on right here. We are raising smart kids in this generation, and I like that. <laughs> she understands what good video games are, and I like that. Why did I even get an Xbox in the beginning? I'm, well, I'm still glad though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we gave, we got her an Xbox uh, Xbox One because uh, we wanted to get her a video game, and we didn't want to get her a PS4 because we already have one. So we wanted to try something different. So we got an Xbox One, and um, it's okay. Like it does, it does its job, but really, it's just for Netflix. Um, she's not playing any games. So Microsoft, so Xbox developers, nothing. You're not getting any love from us here. None. Nintendo and PS4. That's what we do. Oh, and uh, arcade one ups. Speaking of arcade one ups, hopefully soon this bad boy is gonna have a brother right beside it. Ninja Turtles. I'm talking to you, Caitlin. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look, she plays Mortal Kombat with me, so we're gonna start playing Ninja Turtles together too. It will happen. It will happen. All right. So here, coming up, coming up on the show here, um, rounding it off. Not really rounding it off. We have more videos here. We have more stories. We have more time. And I'll definitely keep her on here as long as I can. Uh, but we're going to put on one of our earlier videos, again, from Inuvik Comedy. Uh, this is one we made years ago. Uh, this is Brainstorming. So here we go. These little cat videos are so cute. All right. We need to come up with some new ideas right now. Let's have a brainstorming session. Okay. 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 All right, I've been thinking about something in my head here for a while. Okay, okay? so you know how everybody calls me the champ. No one calls me right? that. Imagine I'm a pro wrestler, and I'm there at the biggest show of them all, WrestleMania, world champion. Hi, everyone. I'm here with the Destroyer, and after winning that title fight, which was a war, I might add, everyone at home wants to know what's the next step on your path to glory, righteousness, and ultimately being the greatest. I'll tell you. No, I don't want to do that one. Okay. I do have one for you, though. Two words, gay Batman. You can't do this to me! No one's coming to save you. <laughs> it can't be. Batman! Not exactly. Pretty eyes. What? What? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at what? all. Well, what do you have to offer? All right, what's up, everybody? We are back here on the show, and as you can tell, I've taken a transformation. Uh, this is me uh, at the bar here, and I'm just chilling out. Uh, apparently, become a cartoon, and I've lost the ability to move my lips. So I'm just going to let everybody know here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're going to keep the show going on, of course, and uh, I'm just testing this out here just because I like playing with technology, and I'm a big nerd. And, uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> there we are again. Uh, what's up, everybody? So uh, we're just doing this stuff here. Uh, like I said, we're showing old videos here. Uh, we're just being deadly. And uh, this is it here, right? So this is what we're trying to do. So uh, this is the kind of stuff here, right? When somebody asks me, who the hell I think I am? Well, I'm King Deadly. That's who I am. I'm King Deadly. 
King Deadly. Destro Show, baby. That's what it's all about. Shout out to my man Chris Rossi at Effin Apparel here. Fucking Apparel. This guy's doing it all. Uh, he's making cool shirts. Uh, let's make one for Paige too. Paige Effin Lorene, right? Paige frickin' Lorene. Not gonna wear that in school though. Okay, but you can wear it like at concerts Even and stuff. Even though I wear the little finger t-shirt. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the little cat one? Yeah. Tell us everybody. Tell everybody about that one. Um, I have a t-shirt. It's like with a cat in the pocket. And then when you put it down, it has a sticking up middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like a little cat in the pocket. You're like, oh, cute. And you pull the pocket down a little bit and it's just flipping a finger off there. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, interesting, interesting. That's cool, that's cool. But it's like the pocket's see-through and my friends could see it. So I sometimes cover it. Oh, nice. I try to. <laughs> <laughs> so again, Paige, Paige is again, like she saw that last one there. Um, she was, She's grown up on these clips here. She's grown up on all of them. Uh, we're just going to pop and do another one here. Uh, this one is so a couple of quick ones here. We got Boat Trip, we got Sick, and we got Therapy. So let's check it out. Guys, it means so much to me that you're here. For real, man. Doctor says I should be on any day. That's great news because our next comedy crew challenge is coming up. Yes. Then we can get back to doing what we do best. Yes! yes. Yeah! Ah. Doctor, he's seeing them again. And he was making such good progress. Mm. We're gonna have to up his dosage. Okay. What's up guys? We got everything we need? As long as this guy brought the food we do, man! I didn't bring the food. No, you're supposed to bring the camping gear. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like the most unlucky person in the world right now. Everybody keeps getting these great opportunities and I'm stuck here hugging the same pillow talking to you week after week about my problems. I really do appreciate it though. Alright, love you too. Bye mom. What's up? Check it out. Not bad. All right, yeah, big again. Shout out to those boys, man. Shout out to Brendan, Brandon, and everybody else that helped us out with the Anuva comedy stuff because that was just super fun stuff to make, and I always wanted to make some more. So we did. We actually made a brand new one. Uh, it's not brand new. It's like a year old now, but we made it um, with Devin and Blue. Thank you guys so much. We're going to be showing that one again soon here. But again, cheers, everybody. Red Cups up. Oh man, it is 9.33, we are encroaching, we are encroaching now onto Saturday Night Live time. That's right, SNL is on right now, so thank you very much for still sticking with us here, if you are still with us. And if you are, I appreciate it, and if you're watching this later on, then thank you so much, because again, like I said, uh, just give me feedback on this, you know, I'm just having fun with it. Obviously, it's not super formal, uh, we don't have a big, like, you know, showrunner and all this kind of stuff, uh, but we're having fun. Having fun with it, with little giraffes from Zimbabwe. Shout out to my friend Kuda for this one, man. Shout out to my friend Kuda. Thank you so much, Kuda. This is so rad. It's actually here. It's super rad and super great. So thank you so much. And um, Paige, what are you thinking about these days? Great. Yeah? You thinking things are great? Yep. Staying home, chilling, going to the store. Well, staying in the vehicle, waiting for the food, go home, and then eat. Nice. That's awesome. Yep. So again, what we're doing is, you know, Paige comes out for drives. You know, we bring her out once in a while here. Um, she goes on the ice road with us and stuff. And she comes out just to enjoy the sun because we don't want to keep her cooped up in the house all the time. But she does not go into stores. We're keeping her away from people. She is our gem. She wears a mask when she goes out. And uh, we're keeping her safe for sure because that's what it's about, right? Like that's what it, exactly what it's all about is uh, staying safe, flattening the curve, and making sure that we all get through this okay, right? Because it, we have to make it... What's the one, what's the meme? It's like, we have to make it seem like we overreacted for this, right? Because that's what's going to happen, is we have to make it seem like uh, maybe we overreacted because nothing might happen. And that's the point, is nothing's going to happen if we do this correctly. So please, everybody, uh, stay safe for those of you. Uh, again, happy Easter, man. It's super, it's Easter. It's a time to celebrate for whatever you're celebrating. Again, a lot of people, they start getting into political reasons and, and things about the holidays, but it's about fun. It's about being with your family. It's about loving who you're with. <clears throat> And embarrassing the, hat, the hell out of them. I was yeah. going to say crap. I was going to say crap. And I was just like, stop talking. You're not talking right. <laughs> um, so here we go. So again, I talked about uh, a new video we made here with Devin and Blue. You guys might have seen it. It was one I tried to pitch with the guys um, back in 2014 and they wouldn't go for it. So uh, here we go. Uh, this is Drop the Pop. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Oh, well, same old. All same old. Dude, I thought you quit drinking pop. I, well, see, I found this really good loophole. Yeah. Check it out. All right. See, all your, well, 
see. Yeah. Let's grab this guy. Alright. What are you doing? Oh, dude, what the hell? That is gross. I know, it looks gross, it looks gross, but hey, I get all the flavor, man, and I don't get any of the calories. Yeah. The only disadvantage is I gotta carry around this, like, bottle of backwash with me. It's kind of gross, but yeah, yeah whatever. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Game in, huh? Game in, out. Mm -hmm. Sweet, some Zelda on a Sunday. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, wicked, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, so what's new? Nothing much, man. This guy will show you something. Are you winning? We both, we're both at the same house. Oh, no, we're not. In your katana? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ordered that arcade pad. Hey, so I'm actually going to get an arcade stick like that for the PS4 and the Switch. Yeah, yeah. Ellie. Yeah, kick, 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 kick. Holy smokes. Oh, yes. Reptile wins. So what's your favorite part about playing video games? Um, it's the characters, sometimes mostly the characters, and it's mostly fighting for me. Do you like the fighting games? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm so confused which is which sometimes. you got to think like the bottom ones are low hits, and then the top ones are for the high punches and high kicks. The red and the Ready? blues. Hmm. Yeah, so that's high punch. You see, I don't really tell her the rules because it keeps the edge on me. And uh, it helps the self-esteem, right? I mean, everybody wants to beat their kid at something. I mean, hang on, let's not take that out of context. <laughs> uh, let's put that on a shirt, right? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, again, I talk about a lot of the work I do here. I talk about a lot of the stuff I do here. And I'm so grateful for all the stuff I get to do in my community. Um, and one of those things is I get to collaborate with really awesome people. So now if you are from Anubic or if you lived in Anubic for any summer, then you know Welder's daughter. Okay, you know Karen, you know the band, they're awesome as hell, and you've probably been to the Trapper and heard them play live. And if, if you're not from Anubic, maybe you're in Yellowknife and you've heard them, that's awesome. Or if you're in NWT, just awesome. So what I want to do is I want to share a music video I did with them. Uh, it was a couple of years ago. Uh, it was for the WAMPS 48-hour uh, film challenge. We did a music video and uh, oh my gosh, we had so much fun. Uh, thanks to Danny Swainson for Danny's awesome vision, man. Danny, wherever you are, Danny, I think I know where you are. You're, you're downstairs, you're down, downstairs, down south in BC. Um, Danny is so rad, man. Danny is, is rad as hell. He's one of the coolest guys I know. Um, and I just, I wish him all the best because this guy is super talented. And I'm not just wishing him the best because he's talented. I'm wishing him the best because he's a rad dude. So don't get it, don't get it twisted. It's because he's rad, not because he's talented. Um, but he's both. So anyways, here we are. Uh, what we did was we made this concept here. I pitched this to the band and I said, can we make this? And they said, yes. I said, this is amazing. Uh, so we all came together and this is the final result. It's called, it, the song is called I'm Not Perfect. And it's starring uh, Welder's Daughter and Danny Swainson. And so here we go. I'm Not Perfect. Here on Saturday Night Eskimofo with the little Eskimofo Junior. Woo! Yeah.
Like I said, that's one of the my favorite projects that I think I've, I've worked on ever uh, is doing that with Welder's daughter and Danny Swainson. That was so dope. That was so much fun. Um, so what you're seeing right now, of course, is a picture of myself and Pete Hurley. Pete is the fucking most amazing rad person I know. And I know I know a lot of people, so that puts him up pretty far up on this list. But Pete is a super awesome dude. And so Pete's thing is Pete has never seen uh, the Disney classics that we have, right? So for whatever reason, Pete goes into... Uh, in this project here that he's been doing, um, he explains exactly what he's doing here as far as, you know, like why he didn't watch the Disney movies and his whole uh, thought process going into all this. So if you're on Twitter, uh, check it out, hashtag live tweeting Disney. And uh, what we did was we sat down. So check it out, deslarine.com. The link is there. Uh, we, it's a 30 minute episode. It's, a, it's an awesome podcast. It was so much fun with Pete. I fucking love this guy so much. An audio experience by Pistol Pete and the Eskimofo. We just, we talked about it. We went over some of his tweets. He, he watched again. So we started with Snow White, obviously. Snow White being the first one. And so we started with Snow White. And that's where we went to. And it was super fun. Super awesome stuff. So check it out, please. Live tweeting Disney. Uh, it's on deslarine.com. If you're on uh, Apple Podcasts, check it out. The Desro Show. Uh, right here's the logo. Desro Show. That's where we're at. Um, and if you can't tell, the red cup is empty. So please. Uh, somebody, I don't know, send off sales. Is that a thing? Can we call for off sales? Is that a, is that a still thing here? Um, shout out in the comments here. Uh, if anybody's got off sales, uh, please let me know. Uh, because I do have <coughs> brand new in the box here. Hamilton Beach, like I said, yellow cards. Anybody's got those yellow cards, please let me know. Uh, we can get that going on. Uh, what else do we have here in the program tonight? You know, um, oh man. So thinking, just talking about all this stuff here, just bringing it back, you know, to uh, to being connected and stuff and talking about uh, connections and things. See, this is the squeaky chair. It's not me farting, I swear. Uh, it's the chair being squeaky. Uh, it's my WrestleMania chair, actually. I'm just going to name drop really hard here for that one time I went to WrestleMania. There was two times, but I got the chair that one time. There we go. Destro show. Anyways, no, I digress. So it's all about being connected, and that's what we're trying to do. But it brings you back to an old time because people who are like myself or older will remember that, you know, like this whole thing about video chats and being so connected and sending a message. And it's like, holy fuck, how come he didn't reply to me in two seconds? Oh, my God, he must hate me. All that kind of BS. Um, that wasn't the thing back in the day because all we had was one phone and it was hooked up to one cord. And that's all you had for as many people as you had in the house. So especially up here where people have like to have 40 kids, that's like. 40 people and one phone line it's like no privacy and if you are a real baller you had that long cord and that's when you knew it was like a status symbol right the longer the cord the more money you had until it got all mangled and just tied up and then you couldn't even like hello and then you're hanging up like this anyways so i'm used to or i grew up with what we would call the after nine check-in because nobody would ever dare pick up a telephone until after 9 p.m right until it was free to make long distance calls of course that changed to six o'clock and then they're on but Nobody would find out about anything until after that, right? So you'd just be having a day, you know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, everything. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah. Boom. 8.59. No. 9 o'clock. Ring, 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 ring. Guess what? Oh, there was an accident. And oh, you lost all your possessions of here. Blah, blah, blah. And this person went missing and ran off with this person. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, oh, no. And that's when it would all come down is after 9 o'clock. Because, of course, long distance was free and everybody was cheap as hell. So, I mean, maybe it was different in other households, but I mean, that's definitely what it was like for me. 
Oh, wait, there's my mom and my auntie both. How come you're ratting me out? Oh, goodness sakes, you guys. Anyways, um, but no. So anyways, like I said, growing up like that, just staying connected, right? That's what it's all about, uh, regardless how you're doing. If you're still calling people on the phone, um, maybe send a message first because I really, I know I hate getting phone calls. I hate getting phone calls, especially blind phone calls where it's like, okay, I see who you are, but do I really want to answer this right now? You know what I mean? Like, mm, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll just let it go to voicemail, right? Just kind of let it hang on. Um, anyways. Anyways, regardless here, uh, regardless, I think we've, yeah, we've hit bedrock here with the videos. Um, man, I wish I got this other one surprise party to work. I'd be super, super happy if I could have got surprise party to work for you guys, but I couldn't. And I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Um, but speaking about surprise parties, um, parties. Yeah, geez. Uh, I, I had this big thing planned out. I was going to talk about how uh, one of the apartments we had. Uh, we had a part, you know, we used to have parties at this local apartment building that will name go unnamed just because I don't want to put myself in too much of a box with somebody and getting messages from former landlords or current landlords who own the building now who this might explain why, you know, um, there's holes, places or whatever. Anyways, so it was a local apartment building. Uh, it was a one bedroom apartment. It was one of those situations where uh, we just moved out. A whole bunch of us were living together. Shout out to C plus. It's the uh, orange soda of choice. Uh, I can't stand the other one crush crush is just bland to me um, It's all about that sun kissed juice right that juice Anyways, so we're at this one bedroom apartment uh, me and the other guy we move out uh, of, out of this We've got to move out We kind of had to move out of this bigger place and I didn't want to live by myself Namely because I couldn't afford it, right? So I get my buddy I give him the bedroom because I'm like yo I really need a roommate here plus living with you is rad as fuck shout out to roar dog and uh we get this place, it's on the uh, the west end, it's on the south, it's a quiet neighborhood, it's a nice neighborhood, uh, it's a really nice apartment building, uh, and the, the apartment is super rad too, it's really nice, like one one bedroom sort of a, like, uh, concept, it, and man, a patio door would have been so rad in that place, um, so anyway, so we have a bed set up in the living room, it's just really rad style, but it had sheets, that's when you know it's decent, because it had sheets, so we were still okay, uh, but we did live together, uh, he had the bedroom, uh, and we would just pack that place every night, man. It would be stupid because there was like, there was one door into the hallway. There wasn't even a porch, right? So it was just like, you'd hear like voices clearly in the hallway. Uh, you could smell all the smoke coming in from under there and just the parties we'd be having. Uh, I think, uh, JT was there and he'd be, uh, I remember one of the most iconic pictures I, I've seen. I still, it burned in my brain is, is shirtless him just crouched over the toilet and his head is so far in the toilet. He's just like, just giving her just, blah. must've been getting splashed back at that point for sure. But he was a real trooper. And I remember even, oh man, we'd just take these massive bong rips on video and we'd just be laughing our asses off. And we even got PBT to take one. And because he never smoked, he had these killer athlete's lungs. And still to this day, I think everybody who saw that clip would agree. Um, the smoke goes in, nothing comes out, it just absorbs. Um, and it's just like kind of painful to watch because you're like, ugh. But we had so many wicked hits there. We had so much fun. Uh, that was, those were the days when we would just record stuff, just to record stuff. Um, so obviously all those tapes are gone, old hard drives, old computers, but man, you just, you, you pine for the old days, right? You pine for the old days and that's what, you know, you sort of get a hard drive now, right? Get a hard drive, save your videos, save whatever you're making and create stuff, man. Cause nothing is, nothing's more harsh than losing shit that you just made that you love, especially. Um, anyways, I'm starting to digress here. I'm starting to fall into this, this pit of here. Um, I haven't given away the popper yet. The air popper is still here. Um, I haven't seen anybody with yellow cards popping up in the chat, so I might just have to keep it myself, open it up, and find out what it's all about. Um, and then more importantly, tonight I'm playing Final Fantasy VII. So, I mean, that's going to be super fun. I'm finally getting into FF7, um, the whole new battle scheme and everything. I'm going to get into it. Uh, apparently, my buddies are really big and they're really high on it, uh, and high on a bunch of other stuff too. Not a bunch of other stuff. Let's not get crazy. It's just weed, right? It's not like we're getting fucking gas fumes and stuff. We're not like totally out like that. But either way... Either way, I'm really starting to I'm really starting to digress here. Uh, we are safe about it, right? That's what it's really important is we're safe about it because we have high tolerances. So if you're not if you're not really familiar with that kind of stuff or even partying in general, but you want to try it out because you're like, hey, you know why not? It's 2020. Uh, you know everything else is going to shit. Might as well start drinking and, and smoking weed, right? Uh, do it low and slow. Be cool about that kind of stuff, right? Don't don't get out there, be crazy, and try to you know live that life of like, oh, I can finish this bottle in front of my friends, and then be a liability, and then nobody calls you back. It's just not a good scene. So what you're gonna want to do is just like I said, get something low THC, um, you know, like a nice um, indica for like late at night. You know what I mean? Just end up like in the couch, and uh, and just have fun with it, man. Because 
it's it's fun stuff here. This stuff it can be medicine at times. I mean, weed, not alcohol, of course. I have different views on that, um, but I do realize too that there's nothing wrong with having a drink in moderation. Of course, um, I'm really bad for that. Anybody who uh, knows me can attest to this. Oh, here come the comments and phone calls. Um, <laughs> but no, for real, uh, that shit is demon juice. It can be. It makes fucking me into somebody I don't like being. Um, and with that being said, um, just please uh, be safe with each other. Happy Easter. Everybody have a good time. And if you're watching this past Easter, um, happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, happy Halloween, uh, Merry Christmas again, uh, happy New Year, happy Canada Day, um, Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving. There's so many different things to celebrate. But whatever you're going to do, be safe with each other, everybody. Um, I, like to, I like to end these things off by saying, like I said, I'm Des Lorene, and I'm going to be me, and I hope you be you too.